Hello everybody, my name is Mohit Deshpande and thanks for joining me. And uh, in this course we're going to be learning a lot about data visualizations. And so what we're going to be looking at uh, is we'll be able to build something uh, like this. In fact, we'll be building this exact uh, visualization. And you know, you can see that we can do all sorts of neat things with this kind of uh, visualization. And it's really useful for if you have a lot of data and you want to try to gain some insights uh, about that data, it's sometimes helpful to visualize it. But the question might be, what kind of visualization or what kind of plots should I be using? And so hopefully we're going to be answering that you know, as we kind of progress through, through this course. And so before we get started with the actual plotting uh, of this stuff, we have to know a little bit about statistics. And so I'm just going to have a very brief uh, and you know, it's just a very scratch the surface sort of thing uh, of statistics. And then we can get right into doing uh, plotting. And so we're going to start with some of the more basic plots, like you've probably heard or seen uh, the bar charts. You've seen, you know, seen lots of line plots and scatter plots and so on. And we're going to look at some of the more advanced plots, like there are quiver plots, which are used for uh, vector fields. There are the 3D line and service plots, like the one that I, that I just showed. And then we'll also talk how we can kind of arrange these multiple plots into just one uh, figure. So we've been making courses since 2012, and we're super excited to have you on board. Online courses are a great way to learn new skills, and I take a lot of them myself. Some of the courses consist mainly of video lessons that you can watch at your own pace and as many times as you want. We also have downloadable source code and project files that contain everything that we build in the lessons. And it's highly recommended that you code along with me, and that's, in my experience, the best way to learn a new skill is to actually code along. And uh, lastly, we've seen that students who get the most out of these online courses are the same students who kind of make a weekly plan uh, and stick with it depending on their own availability and learning style. And remember that you can watch and rewatch these video lessons as many times as you want. So this really gives you uh, more flexibility. And at Zenvo, we've taught programming and game development to over 200,000 students over 50 courses uh, since 2012. And some of these students have used the skills that they've learned in these courses to advance their own careers start a company, or publish their own games and apps. So thanks for joining, and I look forward to seeing all the cool stuff you'll be building. Now, without further ado, let's get started.